the number of vaccine hesitant is continuing to grow as more and more children are being injured by the CDC vaccine schedule, which calls for an unprecedented 74 doses of 16 different vaccines by the age of 18. Let's examine four questions that vaccine hesitant ask. First, if vaccines are so safe, why were vaccine manufacturers getting sued for vaccine injuries? And why did they threaten that they would go out of business unless the U.S. Congress passed a law protecting them from lawsuits? Second, how are vaccine safety tested? Vaccines are classified as biologics by the FDA and are tested by a different FDA center without the same strict double-blinded placebo-controlled protocols as drugs. There's never been a vaccinated versus unvaccinated study of a single vaccine or the entire vaccine schedule to establish the short and long-term safety. Third, how often do severe vaccine injuries and deaths occur? A Harvard study said that less than 1% of vaccine reactions are reported to bears, so it's likely there are many more serious vaccine injuries and deaths per year than is appreciated. Fourth, are vaccines really effective enough to provide herd immunity? In 2012, Dr. Gregory Poland, a physician at the Mayo Clinic and editor of the journal Vaccine, expressed disappointment that the MMR vaccine was not 95% effective. He called for a better measles vaccine, which is yet to be created. The CDC just announced that in 2018-2019, flu season, the flu vaccine was only 29% effective. The vaccine hesitant have good reason to lack confidence in vaccine safety and effectiveness. Share this video with your friends who are wondering why so many people are vaccine hesitant. Perhaps you can spare them vaccine injuries in their family. I am Dr. Alvin Moss. My opinions are my own and they are based on 44 years experience practicing medicine and studying the medical literature. My opinions are not those of my employer.